Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's a delight to be here with you. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. On this channel, I do a lot of beauty tips, skin products review, and every other thing that I like. So how about subscribing? Today I want to share a few tips with you that has to do with the hammer tan. The hammer tan is raging in Nigeria. It is so harsh. You know, the weather is dying and dry and dusty and hot at the same time. In the night, it's so cold. So, so cold. Up till morning, then afternoon it's hot and then it's night and, and then in the night it is cold again. But you know that it's so dry and you know your skin can still be beautiful and radiant even though it is hammer time in Nigeria. Now, um, the hammer time is a dry and dusty period in Nigeria and it can be so, so harsh on the skin. It is that when the lips crack, the heels crack, the, your body is feeling so dry and scaly. I have a few tips for you. My first tip is for you to hydrate yourself by drinking a lot of water. When I mean a lot of water, I mean drink more than 8 cups a day. Especially before bed, before 4 p.m. Drink a lot of water to help you hydrate yourself from the inside out. When you do that, your skin is going to look beautiful. Your skin will look hydrated and hydrated skin always looks beautiful. You will want to have your bath in the morning with water that is not so so hot but hot enough just to take the cold away for the period of having your bath. There are those who are who, who are so brave to have your bath with, hot, with cold water. I applaud you. I mean you are wonderful. I can try that. I love to have my bath with warm water. When I mean warm water, it's not tepid. It's, it's very warm. But I would also encourage you to have your bath with warm water. If you can accommodate it, then if you can't, and you, are, you will belong to the crop of people who like cold water, go ahead and have your bath with cold water and generally have a beautiful bath. When you're done having your bath, it is time to moisturize your skin. It's a good thing to moisturize your skin because if you don't, your skin is going to be more dry, more scaly, and your skin would practically break and bleed because of how harsh the amatan is. You're going to hydrate your skin by rubbing a good moisturizer. A moisturizer is the one that has a lot of water in the formulation that helps to keep the skin looking fresh, glowy, and shining. Your skin will look supple when you apply moisturizer to your skin. Example of a good moisturizer that you can use is the Intensive Care. I like the Vaseline Intensive Care. But if you're using any kind of moisturizer of your choice, just be sure that your body is adequately moisturized on the surface. Remember that the skin is the largest organ of the body and so you've got only this one, take good care of it. When you have creamed your body, remember not to use anything that is so harsh. And if your cream is not um, um, moisturizing or hydrating enough, remember that you can always add a bit of olive oil to your cream, jojoba oil, argan oil, these are varieties of good cream, of good oils, oh, and grapeseed oil. You can add all this to your, to your cream to help it have a bit of luster that will make your skin look fresh when you're done having your bath. Because the heels are prone to cracking during the Hamatan period, get yourself, a, you know, we call it a stone here in, in, in Nigeria, a local stone, and the, the, there's a commercial one that's sold in the market. Use that to brush up, wash up your heels very well to remove that dry scale. Then go ahead and rub Vaseline on your heels. And at night, having rubbed that Vaseline, you can put on stockings to bed to help retain moisture and help your, your heels feel hydrated and soft in the morning so that it does not look broken and bleeding. So do ensure that you take adequate care of your heels so that you do not bleed. You can actually go for a pedicure so that your heels that seemingly have broken up can be helped, can be treated and then that it will take a while to heal them so that that broken heel, that broken skin on the heel that is broken can be adequately treated and then you can get back to regular this job. Remember that the broken heel, broken skin on the heel can be quite painful so you will need to adequately take care of your skin, of your heels to prevent breaking. The lips also do chap. Chap up during this hammer time to prevent your lips from chapping. Why don't you use um, a, a moisturizer for your lips? 
A good moisturizer will help you keep your lips soft and supple and help to remove the dry skin of layer that looks cracked up. And rub your finger on your, on your, on your lips to help remove the scaly dry part that will, so that the newer skin will be revealed that is soft and not cracked already. Your face too would benefit from from the from skin care from proper skincare during the hamatan season. You have to also exfoliate your skin, exfoliate your face properly to ensure that the dry broken skin dead cells are washed are, are removed by via exfoliating. Remember that the skin will probably turn over more during the hammer time because of how dry the weather is. So do not forget to exfoliate your skin. You exfoliate your face properly. Remember to also eat healthy. It's important for you to eat healthy. And eating healthy means that you include a lot of fruits. Include fruits and nuts in your diet. That will go a great that will go a long way to help keep your skin looking good. Also cover up yourself. Wear warm clothes. Wearing warm clothes will help protect your skin during this summer time. Cover your skin adequately. Do not overexpose your skin, whether you are indoors or you are outside. When your skin is covered, your skin will retain some heat that will help the surface of your skin glow. I hope that this um, few tips that I gave you to help you um, to help your skin during this summer time really does help. I'll see you again in another video. Bye bye.